So I've seen a bunch of students recently doing a 3D challenge inside of Inventor where they're making three-dimensional uh, puzzle pieces inside of Inventor and it got me thinking about how people create geometry. And nowadays what most people are doing is they're creating a 2D sketch, they're adding a few dimensions, they're adding a few constraints, and then they're extruding their geometry. And I remembered back in the day, I used to use primitives all the time because it was super fast to build kind of that base geometry that you're working with, whether it be you know, a cylinder or a box or whatever you happen to be building. And I didn't see it inside of Inventor, so you can actually turn primitives back on. So over on the right hand side of your toolbar, if you turn primitives on, you can now access those pieces of geometry. And the cool thing about these is, for example, the box, you pick the plane, you pick the center point, you put in your two dimensions, one inch by one inch, it automatically dimensions it, it automatically constrains it, it issues the extrude command, and you can then build on top of that with additional features. I'll add another box on top of this. Again, totally constrained, totally dimensioned, issues the extrude command. It would take me twice as long to model this simple piece of geometry if I was just doing standard dimensioning and constraining. Hope this tip helps.